Welcome to Right Now Workshop Podcast, where you can write a book and change the world. I'm your host, Kitty Buholtz, and this is episode 230, Dream Big, an encouraging words episode coming to you on Sunday, January 3rd, 2021. Happy New Year. This is the first podcast episode of the year for me. Very exciting. It's technically in between seasons, but it's encouraging words. I love doing these episodes. So I feel like I just really wanted to. And yeah, and I had something on my mind. So uh, last, well, actually it's, yeah, it's last year. <laughs> I'm like, it's still this year. No, it's last year because now we're in 2021. So last April, I enrolled in a business coaching program through a company called Miracy out of Montreal, Canada. And I have been having like a crazy busy year, um, kind of figuring out what it was that I wanted to teach and how I wanted to teach it. And it turns out that I absolutely love, love, love coaching, coaching writers doing one-on-one -on -one book coaching and small group coaching. And uh, they had this event, an I, um, awesome, it's definitely awesome. It was an awesome online uh, event that was called Teach Your Gift. And that was in December. So it was the first time that they did it. And if you were one of the earlier people to sign up for it, you got this cool t-shirt, which I'm wearing if you are watching the YouTube video. And I wanted to tell you what was on this t-shirt because to me, this epitomizes the encouraging words that I wanted to give you for the very, very, very beginning of 2021. So this is what the t-shirt says. Dream big, see the best in people, in yourself. Don't give up. Keep working. Keep learning. See opportunities. Be kind plus be humble. Reach beyond your comfort zone. It might not be easy, but it'll definitely be worth it. Teach your gift. And even though teaching is definitely one of the top three things that I am excited to be doing with my life, and in addition to writing and podcasting, um, and all three of them are very interrelated. If there was a Venn diagram, everything would be like kind of falling over top of each other. But whatever it is that you're writing about, in some ways, you are teaching your gift. You are sharing with the world the things that you hold most important. Your values and your worldview come out in your writing, regardless of whether or not you're writing a article or a epic fantasy novel, if it's fiction or nonfiction, the things that you really want to express in the world, they're going to come out and affect the people who read your, your work. So I really want to encourage you to think about dreaming big this year. Whatever it is that's gone on in your past, whether the near past or the distant past, we are at another point of new beginning. It's one of the things I love most about the beginning of January and Mondays of every week <laughs> is that it's an excellent chance to have a do-over. And I often feel like I could really use a do-over, not every day, but uh, I would say probably at least once a month. I'm really glad it's Monday and I can just start all over again and try to do things better, kind of try to get to that vision that I have in my head that it feels like never really completely comes out as good as I see it in my head. And I'm sure that you understand what I mean because you're a writer and there's a million times when you're like, ah, oh, I'm still working to get that thing that's in my head to come out the way I really see it on the paper. But then there are those amazing moments when you reread what's on the paper and you're thinking, holy cow, I didn't really realize that that was the vision that I had in my head for this thought, this scene, this character, this thing that I'm teaching in my nonfiction book. And you're just sort of blown away by how kind of it all came together in a serendipitous effect. And those are the moments that we all love, but all of the moments are the ones that we're working for. So remember, don't give up, keep working, keep learning, teach your gift, see the best in other people and see the best in yourself. Look again for opportunities, always be looking for opportunities. I think that one should probably be on the shirt three or four times. 
Reach beyond your comfort zone. That's a hard one. It's a hard one for all of us. It's definitely a hard one for me. It is way easier for me to just sit in front of my computer by myself and write my books than reach out to somebody and say, I think that uh, book coaching might be the thing for you. Let's have a conversation. Let's get on a Zoom call and talk about whether or not this is something that I can help you with. I love teaching. There's a lot of things that are not in my comfort zone that have to do with getting to that point. <laughs> the calls where you have to like kind of um, let your real self come out in a way that you feel like, oh, I'm, I'm being totally bare and honest with a stranger. Later when the person isn't a stranger, it doesn't really feel that bad. But in the beginning, Again, though, that's one of the things that we need to do in our writing. And I honestly believe that whether it's fiction or nonfiction, that's what we need to do is just sort of open up and be willing to be nervous that, you know, somebody might read this and not like it, not think that we're cool or interesting or right. And yet the only thing that we can really do is share with the world the things that we really, really believe in. And I think that the best thing that we can do is to dream big, always remembering to dream big. And if you forget, just remember when you wake up in the morning, if it's Monday of a new week, these are excellent times to remember to restart and dream big because it might not be easy, but it will definitely be worth it. So from, from my shirt to your new year, I hope that this is the beginning of an amazing process for you where you're finding out more and more about what it is that you have to give the world and that you're even maybe finding out from other people who are reading your work, like that your words are affecting them in a good, positive way. And that's really, really what I want for you. It's what I want for me and you and all of us. So be encouraged. Go dream big, work hard, keep working, keep learning, and I'll see you again when the season starts again in January, on January 28th. Have an excellent, excellent new year.